The Internet of Things is awesome, and it's transforming society all around us. In our homes, it's allowing us to have greater security while achieving energy efficiency and cost savings. It even allows me from the comfort of my own bed to close my garage door. However, if we take a closer look at the Internet of Things, many manufacturers in a rush to get their products to market are bypassing the important step of security. They're taking shortcuts that are putting these devices that go into the field at risk. IoT devices have three common vulnerabilities that are inherent in almost every IoT device. The first one is authentication. Because IoT devices connect to other things, authenticating those connections is absolutely essential. IoT is all about generating new data that becomes actionable, and if that data is not protected, it's useless. So confidentiality is the second common vulnerability in IoT devices. And finally, how do you know that that data that's being generated and collected by these devices can be, entrust, can be trusted? So integrity becomes the third common vulnerability amongst these devices. These three vulnerabilities can be seen in almost every IoT device. Now, if you're a security professional looking at this, you'd say, gosh, that's not challenging. Authentication, encryption, and integrity, we do those things all the time. So why is security with IoT so challenging? The answer really is quite simple. I believe it comes down to one word, and that's complexity. Let me explain. Even though all of these devices are connected and transmitting data, each of them have unique attributes which require unique approaches when solving for cybersecurity. Let me talk about a few of them. The first one is communication protocol. IoT devices leverage Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular, short-range communication protocols. They communicate in so many different ways, and each of those are unique and requires a unique security approach. The second complexity is the environments in which these devices are deployed. For example, satellite hovering in the atmosphere is a very different environment than a smart home. A hospital and the complexities of regulatory burdens and the networks that they have is very different from a small business. The variation in environments needs to be thought through when addressing cybersecurity. The third complexity that has to be thought about is the power, the computation and the battery power of devices. As you know, there is a ton of variation in this space. There are IoT devices that sit out in a farmer's field that monitor soil moisture. There are other devices that are connected to power sources and have large operating systems where you can do very robust computations. That variation requires unique approaches for cybersecurity and it adds to the complexity of solving the cybersecurity challenge. So as a security professional, how do you solve for these common vulnerabilities and the complexity we've talked about. I'll tell you what the answer isn't. It's not simplifying our approach. The answer comes down to flexibility. Flexibility is critical. Security professionals need to find security solutions that have the flexibility to address common vulnerabilities, but also the complexities that come part of the IoT. Now, fortunately, there is a security solution that brings this flexibility. It's known as Public Key Infrastructure, or PKI. Public Key Infrastructure has been around for decades, securing the internet. It's a proven solution, it works. Public Key Infrastructure continues to evolve to make the encryption algorithms and the infrastructure around it secure. Public Key Infrastructure is flexible and it addresses the common vulnerabilities that we have discussed. Let me explain. Public key infrastructure uses digital certificates to facilitate security approaches like authentication. Certificates are placed on an endpoint device and on whatever it's connecting to to facilitate a mutual authentication. So it solves that challenge. Encryption certificates can also be used to make sure that the data that's being transmitted from device to wherever it's going is handled in a secure way. And finally, signing certificates are used when data packages are sent. That could be a piece of firmware or any data that's being generated from the device. That digital signature ensures that the integrity of that data is intact and that the data can be trusted. On the complexity side, PKI is also incredibly flexible. It works with any type of communication protocol. Public key infrastructure can also be deployed in many types of environments. 
Traditionally, PKI has been deployed in the cloud, but more recent use cases have pushed manufacturers to want zero trust environment for greater security. PKI with on-premise devices can be deployed in any type of environment. Public key infrastructure is also flexible to work with any type of IoT device. Using unique encryption algorithms like ECC, the certificates can be scaled up or scaled down to meet the demands of any IoT device. Public key infrastructure is the flexible solution that solves the most critical security challenges that are inherent in IoT. It's flexible and it's reliable. It works. PKI is the starting point for any good IoT security implementation. Knowing that, my work here is done. <laughs>